Let's start by moving over to today's working papers file. Now the document manager, in case we're working papers, has the ability to display up to 26 columns, including the eight roles columns that can be turned on under tools, options, and roles. Each user has the ability to customize the columns they wish to view when working in their files. The column ordering is application specific. Regardless of which client file I open, once the columns are ordered on my computer, each time I open a file, it will present the same columnar order in the document manager. Of course, I can change it at any time, but once I do change it, it will be in that columnar order for all further files until I change it again. It does not, however, affect my coworkers who are working in the same files with me. Now, to reorder columns in the document manager, I must be active in the document manager window. Now we can see which window is the active window by looking at the top of the working papers window frame. And up here at the top I can see that I'm in the document manager. As it is the active window, I can then select the view tab and reorder columns. Now in the reorder table columns dialog, we can select the columns that we want to hide from the active columns listing and move them to the hidden columns by using the arrows or dragging and dropping them. Or we can select the columns in the hidden column side that we wish to display and move them to the active columns list. Now once in the active columns list you can arrange the columns in the order that you like them to appear across the table view. This can be done by using the blue arrows using the up and down arrows on the left hand side of the order table columns dialog or by dragging and dropping them into the position that you'd like to see them go to. Now what I'd like to do is add a few columns that aren't currently active, the first one being uncleared issues, so I'll select that and move it over. I want that below the name column. So I was using the arrows after I selected it to move them around. And then I'm going to grab some of the other column properties that we'll be looking at as we work our way through. So I want to include an index, retain on cleanup. By the way, I'm holding the control key. Shift will work if they're in order. Roll forward, roll forward as placeholder, and lockdown are all columns that I want to view as we move forward. But on top of that, I'd also like to insert the prepared by and reviewed by columns. So I'd like to see who's signing off those documents, and I'll move those up just after uncleared issues. So I've got the active columns laid out how I want to see them as we move forward, and I'm simply going to click OK, and we see those columns appear in the document manager headings. Now, you could have also right-clicked on any column heading in the document manager to access the ability to show additional columns, or from here we can also reorder the columns, getting us into the reorder table columns dialog, or we can restore columns to the default order, which gives us the outstanding issues and the name columns that are available to us. The hotkey for that, of course, F12 right here on that right-click context menu. Now, 